let's talk about the Hitmarker UI. The Hitmarker UI is a very uh, simple component. Basically, it will show you um, a UI image when you successfully uh, deal any damage to um, a valid target with this component on it. So it's made up of, of two scripts. So let's have a look at those scripts. It's in the in-game UI's hit marker. It's the hit marker player and the hit marker UI. So the hit marker UI is where all the visuals are displayed. And the hit marker player is what reports to the UI when to display those visuals. So I have a pre-built prefab with um, everything in it already. So if we look at the hit marker, this is going to be the hit marker. And here's the sound effect that will be played. But let's first drag this into our index zero scene because I want this hit marker to be displayed no matter what additive scene uh, might be loaded. Um, so the hit marker um, UI, let's let's look at this really quick. It's honestly a, quite a simple component, but here we're going to display, uh, let's look at the game here. This image will be displayed or not displayed when you uh, hit something. So when you hit something, this image will be displayed shortly. Um, so that is here. So this display time, when you hit something, this is how long that image will be displayed. This is the default image that we want to display. So when the hit marker player is reporting to this UI component to display an image, if you don't tell it what image to display, and there's a default hit image here, it will display that image. However, you can actually have multiple images here. So I can have any number of child, um, image components here. And as long as they're assigned here in the hit UI images, I can actually tell the hit marker UI to say, hey, I want you to display the image at this index. And uh, this would be index zero. And then the same thing goes for hit sounds. So here there's no default uh, hit sound source. So if I don't explicitly define one, it's not gonna play a hit sound. However, if I do, um, oh, sorry, that's the sound source. I, I read that wrong. So th there is a default hit sound here. So this default hit sound is this hit marker here. And then here's the volume at which I want to play that at. Since this is a kind of a quiet sound, uh, I just say play it at max volume. And then again, kind of the same thing as our hit image UI. This is the list of all possible sound effects that could be played. So when I, I'm telling this hit marker UI to display a sound effect on top of displaying an image, I could say display a sound effect at this index or uh, play the sound effect at this index and play an, uh, display an image at this other index. So you can see how you can mix and match and have multiple different types of scenarios that you want to play. So for example, if you were to uh, deal a, kill, a killing blow to a player, you can display a skull symbol. If it's just a normal hit, you can play the X, you know, so you can play different types of sounds that you want. So mix and match according to your needs there. So with that setup, let's also get this uh, set up to our player. So I'm going to uh, click the player here, and we're going to add the hit marker player component. And as you can see, the hit marker com player, player component has uh, those two things that we talked about, the sound index to play and the hit image uh, index to play. If you say negative one, you just say, hey, whatever's default, just play that. Um, and you can actually assign this to different types of objects. And so you can play different types of hit sounds, display different types of hit images when you're dealing damage to that particular type of object. So you can just assign that. And as long as there's only one of these in your uh, uh, game, uh, it'll take care of itself. So with that, we should be done. Um, so let's go ahead and build and run this. So you see, I have got everything set up here. The hit marker is here. And when I hit him, you'll see that hit marker is displayed very shortly there. So you can see how that hit marker uh, gets displayed and it's only gonna be displayed if he's alive. And so um, you, know, boop, you can see he gets hit there. So you can play around with those hit markers and, and do whatever you want with it. But the, that's it for the hit markers. Um, the hit markers are very, very simple in that you can, let's actually pause this. You can uh, make any image that you want, essentially place it anywhere you want. Obviously uh, for 
99% of the scenarios you want a hit marker to, to display at the center of the screen, but you can adjust them whatever you want and assign as many as you want here for any different type of scenario. So mix and match and build to your needs.